You confused? You don't want to come to the bone zone? You're coming. You're going right to hell, buddy. What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for the Forest. So, one person gave me a cool idea that I did not think about with this little tower here. Um, if I didn't finish the rope, I might have been able to put in a bridge, or maybe put in a bridge and then put in a rope afterwards. If I didn't finish the actual, you know, um, rope, I might have been able to put a bridge in there as well. But the thing is, if I built the rope and the bridge, and there was a bridge above the rope, what would happen? Wouldn't I bump my head on the bridge so I wouldn't be able to get up there? I don't know. Someone told me that in the comments. I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. Wish I thought of that. All right, guys, what are we going to be doing today? Today, we are going to be working on the bone zone. I don't normally like to work on two, two of the same thing, back-to-back -back videos, but I, this bone zone is very important to get done, and I've got a history of not finishing projects, and this thing is too important to not finish. So, we're going to be working on it today. Are we going to get finished with today? I think we might. I think we might. It depends. I've got a good amount of time today, so that's really nice. So, probably probably get a finish but it depends it depends some people are telling me that cloth does um respawn and it does respawn in certain areas but not a lot of it um because people really want me to use the cloth to make rope but i don't know i guess i could probably use the cloth to make rope what would i need cloth for totally okay so maltovs make using maltovs um probably not the best thing I, I don't really love it i'm gonna need it for bone armor i'm gonna need a lot of cloth for bone armor it's three cloth per bone armor all right, the slingshot, eh, you know, upgraded spirit, eh, incendiary arrows, arrows, definitely. We still need to make a repair tool. You know, I really don't need as much cloth as I once thought. Maybe, you know, maybe maybe I'll, I'll make some rope with that. I don't know, we'll see. But it doesn't respawn in a lot of areas. Like, it doesn't respawn in these little, um, these little clothesline things right here, right? Um, it does respawn on the ground, and yes, it does respawn in caves. Everything respawns in caves, but I don't love going into caves. I don't... I don't do it a lot. I really don't want to do it a lot. But, you know, I guess I, I could go into caves more cloth. Um, you know, that, that one set of cloth in that one cave is pretty close. Yeah, I could probably do that. May, maybe I'll use some cloth. Maybe I'll use some cloth. I, again, I just I don't like going into the caves. They scare me. I have nightmares. Do you want me having nightmares, guys? Is that what you want? Because that's what's going to happen. I'm going to have nightmares. And then I'll be like, Autumn, I, I had a bad dream about cannibals and then i'm just gonna be like all right no more uh no more playing the forest for you and then where are we gonna be at that is not gonna make anyone happy all right that's that's a crazy scenario but yeah, you never know it could happen all right let's look take a look for this rope go and knock these things down okay and we will just grab the cloth from these you know what i'm getting a decent amount of cloth from knocking these down that really pisses off the cannibals but who cares you know so does killing them but someone said that these um that these uh, suitcases respawn. Is that true? That doesn't seem true. But I don't know. I, I don't. I haven't keep, been keeping track of whichever ones I've been, you know, opening. So I don't know for sure. But who knows? Hey, man, if those things respawn, then I'll just use the cloth. Because no, see, I opened these and they didn't respawn. I'm pretty sure I opened these. So I, I don't think they respawn, but I could be wrong. Who knows? All right. So we got um. Put a couple of rope, all right? And then we're going to go over here for a couple more rope, and then we're going to head back to base. And um, I almost I almost did an uh-oh, a boo-boo, uh -oh, a, a mistake. I almost finished... Should we catch some fish while we're here? Sure, why not? I almost finished the bone zone without setting up a way into the bone zone. And that was a big mistake. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be building a way to get into the bone zone. Come on. There you go. How many fish can I hold? I really wish I had a pond like this by my uh, by my house. All right, how many fish can I hold? Two, three. I think I just heard that one fall. Yeah, I can only hold three. Okay. That would have been cool if I could hold like five, but eh, fair enough. They don't want you getting too much uh, too much food all in one you know go. Did I just hear something? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna get back to base. <laughs> I feel safer at base. All right, so here's my future plans for this build. By the way, when I was on my way back, um, I was being chased and I heard some yelling. So nothing that sounded like mutants, but, you know, I did hear some stuff. Anyway, um, right here along this uh, this river, I want to make like a little, um, I don't know, like a little boardwalk, like something you'd see on like like the edge of like the ocean. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. And then up there, I've got a plan for like a pyramid type base, right? 
Um, and then what I want to do this video is I'm going to make a tree house. Let's get this freaking thing out of the way. I want to make a tree house on this tree right here. And then connect this, and then that'll connect over to the bone zone. So let's uh, let, always save before you do any major building, just in case, for a, a, just a, a bunch of different reasons. I'm not even going to get into them. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to... Oh, I, it's not even going to be a treehouse. It's going to be a, um, a, a, a tree platform. Uh, let's see where it is. There it is. Tree platform. There you go. Much cheaper, and it's going to be better for my purposes here. Now, where do I want the rope to be? Does it really matter? Eh, yeah, rope could go right there. Uh, how about... It's gonna go like that. Like, right like that. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and build this sucker up, then we'll build the tree bridge over to it. And then this is going to... I'm gonna cut down all these trees that are in the way. As a matter of fact, I'll just do that right now. And hopefully this goes the right way, because this one could easily topple my treehouse. Oh, let's put these fish away too and grab something to eat. I also got to make some more drying racks. I don't want to make any more drying racks in this, in this treehouse. I'll make some in the one I'm going to make in a, over there. But for now, let's go ahead and grab that and then let's put that, that, and come on. Work with me here. Come on, bro. I, I had it. Come on, you son of a... Jesus. God, that's annoying. All right, whatever. I'll just put it right there. Hey, birdie. How's it going, little guy? Oh, he's my friend. He's my friend. I got bird friends. Aren't you jelly? I wonder what my uh, weight's at. Let's take a look. All right, it's still 205. want to get that up a little bit. want to get that to 210. I don't know how much I have to eat to get that to 210, but I should probably start eating more frequently. All right, so let's let's go ahead and save. Since we are, um, since we are going to be cutting down a tree that's so close to our treehouse, if that tree falls in our treehouse, our treehouse is toast. So we're going to save and hope that all is well. I'm also going to cut out this stump. This tree's actually going to be in the way. All these, a bunch of these trees grow, grew back, which is freaking sweet. And that is, oh, so there's another tree here. Okay, well, there you go. That's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's kind of odd, but let's go ahead and chop this uh, stump out. There we go. No more trees. No more. Oh, God, look at that. Don't worry, those things can't be damaged, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I, I usually throw freaking dynamite at them, and it's, it's, it's never been an issue yet. But I guess you never know. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this thing up, and then we're going to make the uh, tree bridge growing across. Was it two more logs that I needed? I don't know. I think it is. Kind of take a look. Uh, oh, still need another one. Oh, no, we need the rope. Okay, that's okay. I got rope. Freaking rope. I'm telling you with this rope, man. Like, I need like five... I'm gonna... St you guys are right. I'm gonna start making out of cloth the hell with it. I don't have time for this. There we go. Probably jump over there. I'm not gonna try, but... Probably could. And you are... Oh, look at all this. Oh, you're done. Apparently. Now, the only thing I don't like about this treehouse is it's pretty easy to get up. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, that's... Oh. I really don't like that, like, at all. Yeah, that's that's not really safe in any way, shape, or form. All right, guys, I'm back. It is the morning. You know, I, I always skip the morning in this thing, and I always jump down without grabbing food. Every single friggin' time. All right, so let's go ahead and eat this. And let's go ahead and drink one of... Nah, I'm gonna save that soda. Hopefully my, uh, my rain catcher has something in it. I'm gonna grab some more food. Those are both dry. All right, good. And let's see if there's some water down here. So, I don't, you know, I'm kind of squeezed here on this whole setup. That, basically that treehouse was too low. So, I, you know, I simply had to get rid of it. Um, yeah, nothing down here. I'll just drink a soda. So, I had to get rid of it. Then I was trying to put another platform here. And then I said, you know what? Why don't we use this little spit of land over here? All right? It's going to be a little bit more annoying, a little more time, in, in, you know, intensive. But you know me. I'm, I'm always in the mood for big videos. Um, don't bother me none. As a matter of fact, I might take this wall out and have it come over here because i want to have like a little like area here to you know as a jump off point for anything i want to do over here um but i'll do that later hopefully i remember i eh, probably won't we'll see anyway <laughs> let's go ahead and let's chop down some trees because i can't get logs across the water uh if you take a log sled uh, this might have been patched since the last time i played i haven't played in a year keep that in mind but 
the last time I played, if you took a um, log sled into the water, it would just sink to the bottom and you'd let go of it. You couldn't do anything with it. Um, as far as I know, there's really no great way to get logs across the water. I could make a houseboat or like a little uh, raft or something. And that, that would be good. But I mean, that would take like 40 logs just to build. I, I think I can just chop down the trees on this side. That should be okay. And I'll make sure not to break out the, um, the stumps so these trees grow back. And then I can, you know, continue cu cutting down these trees and getting stuff done on this side of the river. Um, and maybe I'll just make a, uh, you know what I could do? And I probably will. Um, I think a, uh, a, a bridge is the way to go, honestly. It's easier than a houseboat. Probably about the same amount of logs and easier than a houseboat. Um, or a, um, uh, I don't know if it's called houseboat or raft. I think there's one of each. Let's take a look. I'm kind of curious. Uh, yeah, there's a small raft. And then there's the houseboat. Oh, I didn't know there was a small raft. I don't have I ever used that? I might never have used this. I'll bet you I could make a small raft. The large raft is freaking crazy. Houseboat's really cool too. Oh, dude, I could just make docks. Forget it. I'll just make docks. That'll be cooler. But yeah, man, I mean, that small raft wouldn't be bad. It would be cheaper than the docks too. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and what I could do is I could put I could just build uh, log log holders on the raft. Bring it, bring it over to my side, fill it up with logs, bring it across the river, and have all the logs over here I could use. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. I, I, I kind of want a bridge, but I don't know. A raft would be fine, too. You know, why don't we, so we don't forget, just get rid of this now. There we go. Give ourselves a little bit more room over here. Hey, deer. How's it going? Uh, should I just get rid of this whole thing? No, I'll bring it from here and bring it, and bring it right straight up to there. But not right now. Look at this thing. What the hell happened to this thing? I wonder if the deer did that. Freaking deer. Alright, let's get this thing done. So another way we could get logs across this place is with a zip line. I don't love the way the zip lines work. Um, I, I think they're cool to use. There's a couple different ways you can use zip lines. Um, the main way is like you get yourself back and forth. Um, the problem is that part of the zip line you're coming off of has to be higher than the part you're going to. Obviously, it makes sense. Um, and I could probably set that up like that. The thing I don't like about zip lines is the second use for them. You can actually have logs go on the zip lines. So what I could do is I can make a zip line over here, make a zip line on the other side of the river. As long as the zip line on the other side of the river is lower than the one over here, you can put the logs on the zip line and they'll fly across. The problem is the logs tend to fly off the zip line like really ridiculously just go flying off into places um there's gazebo builds you can do but they're kind of just i don't know it, i'm not in love with the zip lines we'll probably get to them eventually in this let's play but i'm be perfectly honest i'm not looking forward to it they're kind of a headache to get to work right um but once you do get to work get them to work right it is a lot of fun though so i will eventually do that but like i said i'm not really looking forward to it the pain the pain of it all all right so these are the um the log bridges, is that what they're called? Log bridges? I should have paid attention to that. Um, tree bridge. Okay, fair enough. And there you go. So we bring that to this. Once we finish that, we can uh, build one of those big platforms over here in the bone zone. Yeah, it's a long way. It's a long way, but we can, we can even make a zip line going into the bone zone. I probably could. A zip line? No, because I got to get out of the bone zone too. I think a proper, you know, tower in here would be the way to go. So, yeah, let's just make that right now. Why not? So we come over here, and we're looking for this. And uh, I think just like uh, just like that should be fine. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It doesn't need to be that high, to be honest. It doesn't need to be that high at all. So the lower we make it, the more um, uh, the less logs it takes. So that's nice. All right, so we'll just put that right there. And uh, we're going to finish the first tree bridge, though. This is going to take a lot of work. Um, but, eh, who cares, man? In the long run, it's going to be badass, and that's all that really matters. Man, that was pretty sweet. I just threw one piece of dynamite, and I, I would have recorded it if I thought it was going to knock down that many trees. Knock down, like, freaking 12 trees or something. Like, I was like, holy crap. I'm not even sure where I threw it. I just kind of threw it in a cluster of trees. <laughs> oh, man, I only had two, uh, two sleds, too, so not even enough sleds for it. But that's all right. That was pretty freaking awesome. Next time I uh, throw dynamite, I will make sure to record it. I should have known better. As I was, like, lighting the dynamite, I was like, should I record this? I was like, eh, you know, let's get some work done, you know, before we come back. And all of a sudden, dynamite goes, whoosh, and, like, freaking 20 trees just fall over. I'm like, oh, my God, there's logs everywhere. I got to make some more log sides. I should probably make more right now. Yeah, actually, what the hell's stopping me? Uh, let's just pick up. 
20 of these. And then we'll just make a log sled out there. I think it takes 21 for a log sled, which I think is kind of a tease. Like, how are you going to make a log sled take 21 when I can only hold 20? Now, what are you going to do? Let's go ahead and make another one. Uh, storage, log sled. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. I wish I could hold down the button. I thought there was a time when you could hold down the button or something to build up those things instantly, but... I don't know. I guess not. Probably just dreamed it. Yes, I dream about the forest. Don't judge. <laughs> By the way, right here is going to be my kill zone. My uh, forest of kill. Uh, forest of death? Forest of kill? I don't know. It's going to be a forest just loaded with traps. And a pathway. And I'm going to encourage the cannibals to come in this way. And, uh, you know, all kinds of devastating things are going to happen to them. Hopefully. Unless they're a mutant, in which case I will run. People like are telling me stories of like mutants tearing down your base. I'm gonna reiterate, guys. If a mutant attacks your base, GTFO. I mean, people tell me, oh yeah, you know, the these happy birthday traps can kill mutants. I guess, but what if it's more than one mutant? What if it? What if it doesn't kill it? Is, is your base really worth it? I'd rather just go out and lead them away, personally. There we go. And now we come across here, and I, can this tree bridge go this far? I, I don't know if I've ever had a tree bridge go this far. If it doesn't, it's not really a big deal. Like, I've got ways around it, but... I don't know. We're gonna find out. Come on. Come on. I love these, these things up in the air and these tree bridges and stuff. It's so cool. Just absolutely cool. Alright. I don't know if there's a limit. I mean, there might not be. Go halfway across the freaking game with this thing. Uh, so far, so good. Well, there you go. It's going to be expensive, but there it is. 49 freaking logs. I don't like the way it's so low either. Does that really matter? You think they could they could probably jump up on there from here, I'll bet. Ah. All right, let's make another platform. I was thinking I was going to I was thinking I should make another platform anyway. So, let's make another platform and I guess I'll make it kind of in between. Right here would be a good spot for. It. Although this is outside of my my base. But do I care? You know, I kind of think I do. I could just put it right here. That's kind of... Yeah, no, nah, I'm going to put it over here outside my base. I don't think it'll matter. Nah, it won't matter. Well, we've had an unfortunate visitor here at night. Which is kind of, well, unfortunate. But I think we could probably take care of him. As long as it's not a mutant. What's he doing? He's just kind of standing around. Oh, there's two of them. That's not good. Alright, guys. Here we go! They hit each other. Bro! I dodged this. Oh, God. Alright. Relax. 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 Dodge. And attack. Come on. Jump into the... Jump into the traps, man. Yeah, they're not jumping into the traps. Oh, someone jumped into a trap. Looked like he avoided it, though. Okay, come on. Come at me. Come on. No, that's not the way I want you to go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on! Okay. <laughs> what a bunch of ass clans. See, the problem is I don't want to hit my own stuff. Alright, I've had enough of this. Oh. There you go. Suck on that, you bitch. You want some? Yeah, there you go. There's some for you, too. There you go. Let's switch to this. Cut you up. Yeah, boy. What now? Punk ass piece of garbage. You garbage. I really should make a. Uh... Can I burn these guys' while the bodies with the uh, blowtorch? Because normally I would I would um, put cloth on my axe, but I'm getting sick of doing that, so maybe I should make a fire for it. But then I'm thinking, will this work? Yes, it will. Oh, that's freaking beautiful. Well, that was unfortunate. I had to restart the game because one of my log sleds fell into the river. It was barely even covered, too. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, if it gets in the river and that little handle thing gets under the water, it's toast. You'll never get it out. I couldn't even destroy it. 
I honestly didn't mind losing the log sled. Um, you know, it's only 21 sticks. I just didn't want the damn thing there the whole time. Like, my entire gameplay, I'd be looking at that stupid log sled. It would just, it would just irritate me to no end. So, I didn't really lose that much time, so it wasn't really that big of a deal, but it was just kind of annoying. Uh, do I want to throw some more TNT here? You know, I think I do. How about right here? This looks like a good spot. Let's throw one more thing at TNT. We're not going to finish the bone zone today, but we will finish it... Um, Probably next episode. We'll probably just go three episodes in a row until it's finished. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll finish it off camera. Because the only thing you're going to miss um, at the end of this video is me getting rope. Or maybe I'll just get the rope on. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. There's a lot of things I want to add to the bone zone that definitely will not be done today. Um, things like, you know, uh, bone baskets, uh, arrow baskets, tables, lights, stuff like that. That stuff will definitely not be added today. Um, but I'm hoping to get it operational at least today. So we'll see. See how much time I have. This thing it's gonna be a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, you know, by my own, you know, it's my own decision to make these epic bases. So it is what it is. I will just get as much done as I can. I really don't like a base taking three videos to finish. That's that's a bit much. Or anything on the base. Um, although my main base, honestly, when I start building my main base, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a thing, and that is not getting done quickly. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be big. It's got multi parts to it. I'm gonna want to get up on the cliff side, um, you know, so I can get to the. Uh, ca I might make some kind of um, uh, some kind of uh, what do you call it? I always forget the name of it. Uh, I want to say hang glider. There's a hang glider in the game, but that's not what I'm thinking. Zip line. That's what I'm thinking of. Yes, there is a hang glider in the game. Yes, I've forgotten it before, and yes, I will get it again. Um, yeah, but there's like, I want to make a zip line on that cliff up there so like I can get to the, cause I can get to the cannibal camp a lot quicker if I, um, if I had a zip line. So I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to make a zip line going up there, a zip line coming back so I can get into the cannibal camp quickly, get out. They can't follow me back. It should be a lot of fun. Plus, um, I mean, zip lines are just awesome, aren't they? Everybody loves zip lines. All right. We should have just about enough logs to finish up this thing. Hopefully. Um, I do have quite a bit of logs. This one's not even going to be that long. And this one's almost done. So it should be doable now with what we have. So let's see. There we go with that. And here we go with this. Now you got to make sure. If you're going to do something like this with the bone zone, make sure you get all your log sleds out before you finish the bone zone. There's no way to get them out after you finished it. So at least no easy way to get it out. There we go. All right, now we just need to put a rope here, which we do not. You know what? I know you guys like when I make ropes, so I'm gonna make some ropes. To hell with it. Okay, so I'll put the rope on this side. No, I'm gonna put the rope right here. This is what I'm gonna want to build some stuff here, like baskets, a table, stuff like that. Um, there's a log here, so I don't want to put it on that side. So I guess the rope would go best on. I guess this is the last place I could put it. So let's just put a rope here. And where is the rope? I don't freaking remember. I think it's in here. In this customs. Yep, there it is. And there you go. Now we can get in and out of the bone zone. Hell yeah. Now I just gotta go get a bunch of rope to uh, finish the bone zone. Which I think I am actually gonna do today. Check it out. Check it out. Another cool thing about putting this here instead of the bridge going all the way across is I can put another rope here. Or I could have this go to that tree over there, across the... Whatever. I can have it go anywhere I want. Oh, this is great. This is great. It's great! Love it. Love it. All right, I still need 13 ropes. I'm not going back to the cannibal camp needing 13 ropes. That is unlucky. Not doing it. So there we go. Now we need 12 ropes. And I'll be happy to go back and try and get 12 ropes. Now, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going back to Cannibal Camp. I'm going to get all the ropes they have or I can carry. And then I'm going to come home and I'm just going to... I'm going to use up all my cloth. I'm so impatient. I want to get this damn thing done. Um, you guys have convinced me. Congratulations here. You guys have 100% convinced me. I can't be dealing with this crap. I want to get this freaking bone zone done so I can move on with the, uh, you know, with the rest of the builds and stuff. So... Um, yeah, and also you can see right here, this thing's up on a big, like, hill. I could make, like, a zip line, like, over here, like, to the closest area to where I'm going to, and save myself some travel time. Um, maybe it'd make the zip line going right across to where I gotta go. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with the zip lines. They're pretty freaking, they're pretty cool. Oh, God. See? See? I had 13. That's why there's a freaking armsy there. Oh, my freaking God. Darn it. 
Oh, I need what they got, so let's go ahead and make some uh, fire arrows. And let's just make some more. Oh, hold on. No fire arrows, please. Those are fire arrows. Are there any in here that aren't fire arrows? No, those are the good arrows. Okay, never mind. I guess those are all the fire arrows I have. All right, well, let's do it. Oh, two armsies? Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. This is probably not a fight I want to get into. Yet, here I am. Oh, he doesn't appreciate that. Here you go, bro. Make him into a pincushion. Uh, no! Uh. Do I hear another one? Yep, I do. Where is he? That might be him. Or it could be a, um... A uh, cow man. No! Oh! I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Look, they're standing each other's heads! Uh, uh, leave me alone. I don't want to fight anymore. Here we go. Jump off the cliff. <laughs> what could go wrong? Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. There you go. Oh, God, a freaking pond. Not good. I think I killed him. Ugh. Stop swinging at me. Got him. One down. Oh my goodness. What a pain in the ass. Give me those arrows. Oh god. I'm I don't have I don't have the, the stomach for this, man. This is some scary shit. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, we got one. Um, this guy doesn't have anything on him, but he probably has some arrows. And we need to go back. This is going to be a long video now. I didn't expect this. I did not expect this. Yeah, get him, birds. All right, guys. So I went back up to the cannibal camp, grabbed a lot of cloth and a lot of rope, and didn't see Armsy. And now that I came back, I see a fire guy here. And this guy likes to throw fire at you. What's up, bro? You want to throw some fire at me? You want to throw fire at me? Now, I don't even know if you can light this guy on fire, so I'm not going to... All right, whatever. Just run away, then. <laughs> I don't really care that much about you. You're a punk ass. Okay. So everything over here is looking okay. All right. Again, I'm worried about Armsy coming in here. I'm not going to put my traps in, you know... In danger for Armsy because I think Armsy can destroy them pretty pretty handily. Although people said the traps can kill the mutants. Why don't we go ahead and save the game? And if Armsy comes in, I'll stand in the bone zone and see what it does. I just don't want to lose it because the thing with the bone zone is if you if you get one trap broken out, right? You can't place down more traps once they're already built. So if one trap gets broken out, the bone zone's screwed. Like so, I don't want to lose any of it. All right, let's see if we can get this done. Okay, so you go right there, you go right there, you go right there. Okay, and then we make a bunch more, like I said, I'm just, I'm going ham, I don't care. Getting as much rope as I can. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the hell with it, let's do it. You guys talked me into it. Gosh darn it. Come on. Two. Uh, three, four. Okay, got that one. Got that one. Got that one. And it's finished. The bone zone is complete. Do I hear Armsy? Did I hear Armsy? Was that just my imagination? Nope, that's not my imagination. All right, come on, Armsy. We're gonna we're gonna see what's going on. See, he's knocking down trees for me. He's so nice. Come on, bro. All right, well we're gonna find out if he can destroy these things. Guy, I just saved the game, so I am not worried about it. Come on, bro. Okay. 
Missed. Why isn't he coming in here? You can't tell me he can't see me from there. Alright. It's getting a little dark, and I want you guys to be able to see. There we go. Oh, thank you. He's cutting down trees for me. What a nice guy. So is he going to come over here or what? <sighs> this freaking guy. Give me a lot of trees down over there. No, come back. That's not going to reach him. I just hope he gets his attention. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He didn't like that. What's up, bro? You confused? You don't want to come to the bone zone? You're coming. You're going right to hell, buddy. Wow. Uh, well, there you go. I think that just answered all the questions I had. The bone zone can kill a mutant. The thing is, I think if he had more hit points, maybe he would have, like, not died and then started wailing on it. I don't know. But that was pretty freaking epic. Hells yeah, bone zone is a win. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. That was a hell of an epic ending. I'm so happy about that. <laughs>